from New York City, it's The Cube, covering New Relic Future Stack 2019. Brought to you by New Relic. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is The Cube's coverage of Future Stack 2019. Happy to welcome to the program first time guest, Buddy Brewer, who's the GVP and GM of client side monitoring with New Relic. Going to talk about customer experience and the, especially the digital customer experience. But, Buddy, maybe explain for our audience that might not know, you know, client side monitoring. Yeah. Tell us as to where that fits into the entire picture uh, of, of New Relic. Yeah, for sure. Great to chat with you, Stu. You know, client side monitoring for us is the part of our observability platform that extends all the way out to where the user actually is. So people think of New Relic as this you know, really great platform for understanding everything that's going on in the application logic and the servers. What our client-side monitoring does is extend it all the way out to the phone that's in the consumer's hand or the laptop that's right in front of them. All right, so obviously there's a direct connection between that and that, that digital customer experience. Yeah. Maybe explain some of the, the challenges there and, and how New Relic's helping to, to, to work on solving those. Yeah, you know, digital customer experience is all about collecting and understanding the relationship between two different types of data. There are the technical metrics, all of that information about how long people are waiting, latencies in pieces of the software, everything from how long it takes to connect to the server, how long it takes to build the response to the web page, deliver it, render it, all that stuff. There's lots and lots to collect on the technical side. But the other half of DCX is the personal side, the human side. The person who's on the receiving end of all that stuff How's it affecting their behavior? How long are they spending on the site? Are they buying? Are they clicking on a second web page? Are they engaging in the game? Are they booking that travel reservation? And so collecting all of those business metrics and then collecting right next to them all the technical metrics and bring that back in a way that you can understand the relationship between those two things is what DCX, Digital Customer Experience, is all about. Yeah, it, 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 it's fascinating. The, the expectation that we have today in 2019 is so different than the past. It used yeah. to be like, oh, okay, I know if a website doesn't load in this long, uh, you know, they're going to leave me. But you know, what, what are those expectations? What, you know, what, what, what is the, that ultimate end user? You know, what is a good customer experience for them? Yeah, it's changing all the time. And it changes depending on what part of the world people are in. It changes depending on the type of device. And this is why it's so important for customers to actually collect collect the information and understand their relationship with their customers. It's really hard to put a single number on it right. because what's true for a commerce site might not be true for a media site. What's true for a site in Australia might not be true for a site in the Americas or in the UK. There are certain patterns that certain people have seen. Google had a statistic out a while ago that said that over half of people will leave a, a, a mobile site that takes longer than three seconds to load. And so there, there are some patterns out there, but a big belief for us is that one of the most important relationships our customers have is the relationship with their customers. That's why it's so important for them to collect their own metrics around how long people are waiting and how that waiting is affecting their behavior. Yeah, so, so it seems obvious that you know, having data to back up what's going on is yeah. important. Yeah. Uh, bring us inside a little bit, you know, the importance of monitoring in this space though. Yeah, absolutely, and this is why it's so important. We're so excited to be talking about our observability platform that we have here today at FutureStack. The fact that it's open, you can bring all of this information in. We've got all this agent technology that collects things about what's happening in the servers, what's happening in the infrastructure, information that's happening on the client side, as well as this ability to absorb information from third parties, and then connecting it all together to give you that context. So there's the context that is means solving problems from the front end to the back end of the application stack. There's also the context like we were talking about earlier, the digital customer experience, the connection between the technical metrics and the, the human metrics and the, how they're actually experiencing the application. And then making all of that stuff, the connected stuff, programmable. So then our customers, we're the first observability platform that you can actually build applications on top of. And so we've released 12 of those today that folks can use. It's going to continue to expand, and it's something that our community contribute to. Our customers can actually take our visualizations and our analytics and customize them to do exactly the things that they need to do. All right, uh, buddy, observability is still a relatively new term for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, help us dig down. You actually did a blog post even about you know, the principles of observability in modern applications. What 
how should customers be looking at observability and how do they sort between you know what is a good solution versus you know an okay solution yeah well there there are some really important pieces that we think people need if they want observability about what's happening in their application it starts with like I said earlier getting all of that information in one place you know we have this really fast database in our DB that stores all of the telemetry that we collect on behalf of our customers and it's getting larger and larger as we continue to open that up to things like these third-party data sources. Then, there's context that's really important to layer on top of that. Bringing the information together in ways that start to make sense out of those little individual pieces. One of the things that we found, though, is that our customers are running applications that are so complicated, there's so much going on in these applications today, that even with the context, there's still 40 or 50 things that are happening all at the same time when a customer has an issue. That's where our applied intelligence, which is another piece of what we're launching today at, at uh, FutureStack, comes into play so that you can take those things, condense them down into smaller, more manageable, related chunks of information that folks can act on and fix their applications. Yeah, uh, it's a it was actually really impressive to see, you know, in, in the demo this morning, it's be, being able to poke through and get meaningful results off of 10 terabytes of data. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, in, in uh, I would say much faster than I can run a report on the industry leading CRM tool uh, uh. where all of our you know, customer data lives today. Yeah. So, uh, you know, pretty interesting stuff as to how you can enable customers and it kind of almost will change the expectations as to you know, what a good experience is like. Yeah, that's right. And you think about the, there's that use case of things were normal and then they got bad and so you logged in and diagnosed to get things back to normal and having that speed, that ability to get to information quickly is really key there. There's also a whole other use case. This is the digital customer experience use case where things are normal, but we want our customers to be able to play offense with software, to be able to take what's normal for them today and to get better and better and better in ways that drive better business outcomes for them and allow them to compete and win in a space where consumer expectations are just getting tougher every day. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you always look out there. How can how can you just you know exceed you know exceed what customers expecting and give them so that they will you know love your solution even more because you 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 gave them more than they were expecting. How, how's New Relic helping customers you know move along that journey? Yeah, you know nobody likes to be kept waiting, and at the end of the day, the customer always has a unified view. So we want to give our customers, or the, the consumer always has a unified view. We want to give our customers the unified view with all of the details so that they can deliver better experiences for their customers. And it has to do with, again, like I was saying, collecting the technical information, also collecting the information about how that's affecting customer behavior, and then looking at those two things next to each other in context so they can see how one affects the other. All right, so but Buddy, uh, give us, what, what are some of, some of the outcomes that customers will see uh, based on the announcements uh, today at the show? Yeah, so for the, for the customer experience, one of those programmable pieces that we launched is this really simple application that you can just drop in to New Relic and it shows you right away the difference between engagement when people are getting good experiences versus when they're getting bad experiences. And when we show this to people, oftentimes they're shocked. For example, take a metric like bounce rate. What's the likelihood that someone who comes to your site is going to stay on your site? When people think about it, usually they're thinking about it in aggregate across the entire site. But when you separate it out into the good experiences and the bad experiences, maybe you've got an overall bounce rate of 40%, but when you give those really fast experiences to your users, they're only bouncing at 20%, so they're twice as engaged. And then conversely, the folks who are getting the bad experiences, because let's be honest, on any given day, websites are you know, delivering good and bad experiences to different groups of users, that bounce rate might be 70%. And when you see the disparity between these two things, it's a motivator to action. Now what's really important after that is that you've got the data underneath so that you can actually do something about it. And that's where this end-to-end -end observability platform that collects all of the information from the front end to the back end is so useful. Yeah, I, I have to think uh, that it's pretty powerful, not just for the, the customer experience, but I can get accountability from my partners. So, yeah. you know, whether it be my ISP or my cloud provider, I can be like, hey, uh, you promised me this response, this, yeah. you, you know, bandwidth, and you know, here's the data, yeah. uh, we need to make sure that, that I'm actually getting what I'm paying for. Yeah, that's right, and at the end of the day, what the customer saw, what our customer's customers, the consumer at the end of that connection sees, is the truth. And so collecting that data, whether they're on a mobile device using an application or they're using a browser, any of that stuff, having that information is not only useful for internal accountability and 
things that are within people's direct control, but also absolutely, there's so many, so many third parties that people are using to make their applications go today. Yeah, we, we know the, the visibility of actual data to help us not only make decisions, but uh, inform everything we're doing is so critically important today. All right, buddy, want to give you the final word, uh, you know, digital customer experience, what do you want people coming out of FutureStack 2019 here in New York City uh, really understanding? Yeah, I think that when it comes to New Relic, it's that we are providing folks the ability to have exactly the view that they need of all of the data that's relevant to the performance of their application. So that they can solve technical problems, so that they can solve business problems. Because at the end of the day, your digital business is your business increasingly. I mean, it's just the digital experience is what defines people's brands. And so we want our customers to have complete control and visibility over all of that. All right, well, Buddy Brewer, thanks so much for joining and sharing uh, what, what's going on with New Relic and that digital customer experience. Thanks a bunch, Stu. All right, a uh, little bit more left here at FutureStack 2019. I'm Stu Miniman, and thanks for watching theCUBE. <laughs>